Do you have a WordPress website, but it doesn't look quite like you want it to look yet? This video is for you. Fearless. Hi everyone, welcome to Learn How or welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how to customize a theme to change the appearance of your website. This video is going to be in two parts. In part one, we're going to talk about WordPress themes in general, what a theme is, and so on. In part two, we are going to start the step-by-step -step tutorial to customize the Hestia theme to change the appearance of your website. If you want to skip to part two, the timestamps are in the description below, so feel free to skip ahead if you want to. So what is a WordPress theme? A theme is a collection of templates that are used to define the appearance of your website. So now you might ask, what is the best theme? Well, that depends on what you want to do. For example, if you have a YouTube channel and you want to display your vlogs and videos, you might want to choose a theme like Vlogger. There are other themes that might be better for starting a blog, for example, and yet there are others that may be multi-purpose themes. For today, we are going to choose the Hestia theme. Hestia is a modern WordPress theme that can be used for small businesses, e-commerce, or even if you have a blog. So now it's time to start customizing our Hestia theme. The first thing you need to do is go to your website. By the way, if your website is not launched yet, that's what you're going to see. So you need to sign in as an admin. Now we need to choose a theme. So we go to appearance and themes. You'll see all the themes that you already have installed but you can also choose to add a new theme. So if you don't have Hestia already installed, go to add new theme and type Hestia. So I already have it installed. You can click activate or you can click live preview to see how it's gonna fit on your website. If you like it, go ahead and click activate and then we're going to customize it. I already have Hestia as my theme, so let's click here to view the website. So that's how it looks right now, but remember that I have already customized it a little bit, so yours will look different. Now the part you've been waiting for, let's start customizing. So click on customize. We'll have a look at all these different features one by one. So another way to change your theme would be click here, but we don't want to do that for now. You can view pro features. So if you upgrade to pro, you will have those additional features available, but we're also not going to do that right now. Let's click on site identity. So the first thing you can change is your logo and your logo is what appears here. So you can click on change logo or you can remove it if you don't want any. You can also add a transparent logo, site title, tagline if you have one, and a site icon. Now let's go back and click on appearance settings. In general settings, you can change the way the page or blog post looks like. So you can choose to have a sidebar on the right, on the left, or no sidebar at all. If you enable scroll to the top, that is this little arrow right here. So when you click on it, it goes back to the top. Typography allows you to change the font family and font size. Right now we have the font set as default, but let's say we want to use a cursive one. So now the text looks quite a bit different, you can play around with the font until you find something you like, but it will switch back to default. Also remember to click publish from time to time to save your progress. So you can choose to change the background color and we have chosen this pale pink right here, as well as the accent color. And we have this darker pink right here. You can also put a background image and change how the buttons look like. Now let's look at the front page sections, which is where we are right now. Let's go ahead and make all of them visible. 
So that's how it looks when all of them are visible. You can change some of them and how it looks like, or you can choose to hide them completely. The big title section is what we have right here. So you can choose to change this image or remove it completely. You can add a title and text and even change where it is placed on the screen. But I think that our image says a lot already, so we don't need to add anything else on top of it. So we're going to remove those. In the features section, you can display the features of your website, products or services, explain, for example, why your product is the best and add, remove or change any of the icons present here. But we personally don't need a features section on the website for now, so we are going to disable it. So now it's hidden. In the about section, you can choose to talk more about yourself, your company, who you are and what you do. You can add a background image if you want or click on edit content to change the text here. So in this section, we have also added a YouTube video and a link to our YouTube channel. In the team section, you can introduce yourself and other members of your team, add pictures, descriptions, and even their social media profiles. Again, you can add more team members or remove some. In the ribbon section, you can ask people to subscribe to your YouTube channel or newsletter, for example. We have also added a button that allows people to click on it and be directed to our YouTube channel directly. If you're selling a product or service, it might be helpful to have testimonials from people. So this is basically feedback from previous customers who have bought and enjoyed your product or service. Again, you can add more testimonials or remove some. Again, you can ask people to subscribe to your newsletter, for example, here. And you can install and activate the Send in Blue Newsletter widget. You can also change the background and add some text. If you have a blog, you can choose to display the latest posts here. So you can choose how many you want to display, for example, the latest three or five. So people can have a sneak peek at your blog from the front page. In the contact section is where you tell people how to get into contact with you. So whether this is where to find you physically, so your office or your phone number, email, social media, or you can create a contact form where they would put their information and message and you will get that message in the form of an email. Since they will provide the email address, you can then get into contact with them and reply if they have any questions or concerns. Contact forms are a convenient way for them to contact you without even leaving your website. Again, you can change the background image that you see here or change the content that you see right here by clicking on edit. But you don't always need all of these features, so you can choose to hide some of them by clicking on the little eye like we're doing right here. Now onto header options. Here you can change how your header looks like and in navigation you can change where to position them, for example. In header settings, you can change the way posts and pages look like. You can also add footers, but right now let's look at the blog settings. So again, if you have a blog, this is really interesting. You can change how your blog layout is. So image, text, text, image, image, text, or all the images on one side and text on the other. You can choose to have an excerpt or content. What this is, is basically when you have a blog post, it shows like this and has this block of text. You have two options for what goes here. The first one is content. So that is text that is already in your blog post. So it, this is typically the first few lines of your post. Or you can choose to have an excerpt, which is text written specifically for this little description. This does not have to be what is written word for word in the post, but simply gives a description of what the blog post is about. You can also choose the excerpt length. So the length of the little description. So you have a few different types of menus. You have the default top menu up here or the footer menu at the bottom. You can choose which menu is placed where and which one is considered your primary or main menu. Mine is up here and has home, about us and contact us. You can also change these options by clicking add items and either removing the ones that's already present, reordering them or adding new ones.
In widgets, you can change how the sidebar and footers look like. So our sidebar is hidden for this page, but basically we have these options available in the sidebar. You can reorder it, delete some, and add some. We do have a footer, however, and this is this disclaimer right here that we use affiliate links. You can add more footers, so they will appear here or down there. And then you can choose what appears on the home page of your site. So this can either be a static page like we have right here, so this never changes, or it can be something that changes automatically, for example, your latest post. Again, you can add more pages and delete others. Finally, if you want to add some of your own code, you can do this in the additional CSS section and type your code in there, or you can add header or footer scripts. If you want more information about what Hestia has to offer, there's also the documentation right here. Remember to click publish from time to time to save your changes. So these are the features that the Hestia theme has to offer. So go ahead and play around with it. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. And follow us on Instagram at learnhowofficial. If you don't already have a WordPress account, we also have a video in the description below about how to create a WordPress account using Bluehost. So make sure to check that out. We will also leave a link to Bluehost, which is the web hosting platform that we use, in the description below. Thank you for staying with us until the end.